Did you know that our body has at least a dozen parts that you don't actually need? So why do you still have them? Well, those body parts are there because the process of evolution is slow. It takes a long time for a body part to disappear or evolve into something else. Over the last century, major archaeological findings of human fossils allowed scientists to compare modern humans with early humans and predict what parts of the human body could evolve or disappear entirely. Here are 10 examples of body parts that you don't really need. But before we proceed to learn what our future holds, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Wisdom Teeth Even though modern humans aren't using their wisdom teeth, our ancestors were using them to chew plants. Plants were a great source of calories and proteins, and they didn't require wasting energy on chasing dangerous animals. However, when catching animals became easier, there was no more need for wisdom teeth. Believe it or not, only 5% of the entire human population has a set of healthy wisdom teeth, and they don't use them at all. Palmaris Muscle Humans used to be extremely good at climbing and hanging from trees. The reason why we were once able to do that was the palmaris muscle. And though we're still good at climbing, with some help from various tools, about 14% of the population are missing this muscle. Paranasal Sinuses Scientists don't really have a valid explanation as to why we still have these mucus-lined cavities called sinuses. Some of the more prominent theories suggest that they act as some sort of air conditioners that humidify and warm the air we breathe through our noses. In time, our sinuses might evolve to improve our vocal capabilities, but no one knows to what purpose. Also, no two humans have the same shape and size of sinuses, which is why we all have a different voice. Extrinsic Ear Muscles Some people can move their ears. The reason that's possible is something called the extrinsic ear muscles. This is a trait that humans and animals share, but animals actually use their ears to their advantage. Humans do it as a party trick. Cervical Rib the neck rib or cervical rib is part of the human body that only half percent of the entire population has. Some people have it on the right side, some on the left, and some on both sides of their body. The cervical rib is located right above the first normal rib, but the more interesting thing about it is that birds and reptiles have it as well. That being said, cervical ribs are connected with leukemia in children and can be the cause of artery and nerve problems. The 13th rib Besides the cervical rib that's located above the first one, some people have an extra set of ribs. Most humans have 12 sets of ribs, but about 8% of us have an extra set that links us to chimpanzees and gorillas, our evolutionary cousins. Our toes will disappear. Some studies have suggested that humans might lose their toes in the future. You see, humans use their toes to adjust their center of balance, climb and catch things. Our toes were once tools. Today, the center of our balance has shifted to the side of our toes. We no longer use them for catching, and we're climbing with equipment that goes over our toes. Over time, our toes will either evolve into something more useful or disappear entirely. The third eyelid. If you look at your eyes in a mirror, you might notice a tiny fold in the inner corner of your eye. That little fold used to serve as a way to keep debris out of your eyes. Scientists believe that our ancestors also had a bigger membrane that would help their eyes stay protected out in the wild. The Darwin Point Our ancestors used to have larger ears that helped them hear sounds in the distance. Modern humans still have a small piece of folded skin at the top of their ears. It's just not as functional as it used to be. Over time, it will disappear, and our ears will have a more pointy Vulcan appearance. Subclavius Muscle This muscle once helped our ancestors walk on all fours. It's located between the first rib and the clavicle, but it's no longer used for walking on all fours. Instead, it helps us protect the brachial plexus and the subclavian vessels from a broken clavicle, which is the most commonly broken long bone. If you enjoyed learning about these totally useless body parts, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.